Hey YouTube, Drummer Just 2000 here coming at you with a PDX Airport update. This one's uh, actually a pretty special one. Uh, not that much has actually changed with PDX. A uh, few, few new stuff. Um, but uh, this is actually this is probably the last airport update at the hangar here. I'm just getting ready to ferry the plane across the country over to South Carolina. <laughs> I'm just gonna film this video here while the, while I wait for the weather to get better. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. So I'm trying to get this one out uh, now because I probably. Probably I'll I'll come back to finish packing everything up, but I probably won't have time to actually make an airport update. So I'm gonna try to get that get this filmed now and and try to upload it. I'll either upload it either at a stop somewhere, or just or just try maybe do it after this if the weather's taking a while. But uh yeah, well let's get into it. Starting here on takeoff roll uh, one zero left. We got a Sun Country seven three seven eight hundred out to Minneapolis. Right here is an Alaska seven three seven eight hundred in from. San Jose, California. That's uh, one of the one of the last mainline routes to resume. Um, but yeah, San Jose is back on mainline, and he'll be heading to Seattle. Right here is the United Sun Three Seven Seven Hundred heading out to Newark. Um, very happy to have the United Seven Hundred now. This is a uh, uh, relatively it hasn't been in a PDX update, but a relatively new model. Uh, here's an eight hundred here. I'm going to be heading out to Houston Intercontinental and arrived in from Washington Dulles. An A319 heading out to uh, Denver and came in from San Francisco. And then we got a 737-900ER for United heading out to Chicago's O'Hare. At the southwest section here, uh, the real PDXE concourse extends out a few more gates than this. Uh, southwest has like six gates, uh, so they're just four. But here's a 737-800 for southwest heading down to San uh, Jose, California. Uh, my dad was on this flight earlier, uh, one of the early morning flights, and uh, came in from Sacramento. Here's 737700 heading down to Vegas and from Phoenix. Max 8 heading out to Denver and from Sacramento. And a uh, uh, CRJ and a 737700 Canyon Blue heading out to Chicago Midway and is in from, uh, we'll say, uh, Phoenix Sky Harbor. I don't. I think I said Phoenix already. <laughs> Air Canada, Q400, you're going to be heading out to Vancouver. Uh, we got these guys back, which is cool. Two United aircraft here in the hard stands. Uh, it's not. It's pretty typical to have a few United aircraft here at the hard stands in the late evening and to the early morning. Uh, they're pretty much almost all their flights back. Uh, this guy came in from the early Houston flight and will be heading back tomorrow morning. Then we got an A320 here, uh, which came in from Denver and will be heading uh back there in the morning so just uh long turns on those guys so they gotta pull them off the gates got a couple corporate jets a citation longitude uh we'll be heading out to um we'll say aspen colorado and a we'll say this is a wheels up uh king air 350 uh gonna be heading out to uh let's say boeing field seattle boeing and we got a pc12 here for boutique air heading out to uh redmond that's a pretty new route for that uh redmond oregon boutique over to D concourse here, Delta, and some of the uh, internationals, plus Hawaiian and some low costs. Uh, here's a 737-800 for Delta here, in from Seattle. And uh, here's a 752, gonna be heading out to JFK. Another 738 here, heading down to LAX. Um, and uh, right here is a 767-300ER, uh, gonna be doing a uh, flight out to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Uh, we're getting uh, these on Actually, I'll send him to Atlanta. Yeah, actually, yeah, I came in from Atlanta, flight 841, I think. Uh, yeah, I flew that flight just a few weeks ago or something. Uh, the 76 in from Atlanta. Uh, we get both the... We're still getting the 76. We were getting the A330 and the 76 on Atlanta during the peak of the summer. Uh, but yeah, 76 in from Atlanta. We got a 900ER here heading out to Salt Lake City and came in from... Uh, we'll say Detroit. Uh, I haven't seen a Detroit flight in a while. I want to I wanna say it's going, but uh, uh, I can't think of it. But uh, at least uh, Salt Lake City. And right here is the A33300. Um, I haven't seen. I know we were getting these on Minneapolis and Atlanta. And I flew this in from Minneapolis. I'll say he just arrived in from Minneapolis, St. Paul uh, during the peak of the summer. So, uh, yeah, 33300 Minneapolis. Pretty cool. Right here is a Frontier A321 taxing out for Las Vegas. Uh, we also have Denver, usually on an A320neo. And then right here is the Hawaiian A330. Flight 25 heading out to Honolulu. Um, yeah, and I flew this flight too just uh, just recently. 
uh, this last week uh, vacation, one last kind of trip to Hawaii and vacation uh, before moving. Uh, awesome flight out of D14. Then right here is the uh, Volaris A320 heading Guadalajara. Uh, Isendera Sen 52 pushing out for Reykjavik Keflavik. JetBlue A321neo heading out to JFK. I've seen, uh, it's mostly just a regular A321, but uh, I've seen the Neo. I actually saw it at PDX doing some touch and goes in the sun downer here. Uh, but yeah, uh, A321neo to JFK. And we got a Spirit A320neo heading out to Las Vegas. Last two planes on the runway here. We got Alaska A320 heading out to Burbank. Uh, man, came in from uh, San Diego, we'll say. Uh, not too many A320 routes, mostly all 737s. There's a couple A321 routes, but... Uh, but yeah, and then here's the United A320. Uh, we'll send him out to, uh, I don't remember, the A319 was, I think, in from San Francisco out to Denver. I don't remember, but uh, the vice versa of that one. So we'll just say, yeah, going out to Denver and came in from San Francisco. United, as I was saying, is pretty much back to all normal capacity. We're like three daily Houston's, five daily Chicago's, like five, four or five daily Denver's. The only route that's like not back at what it was is San Francisco. We used to be like eight daily San Francisco's. Right now we're only at like five. So, but other than that, United is back at like 100% for PDX, which is pretty cool. Where we got two Newarks and uh, and during the summer, and I think it's still going two Newarks and uh, and then a single Boas. Uh, but yeah, over at the Alaska hard stands here, we got three 737 uh, 900s, uh, 90R here honoring those who serve. Standard 900, uh, we'll say it's a 90R because there's no standard 900s in the old Liberty left. Uh, a couple of regular 900 ERs, but uh, no no standard 900s. And here's another 900 ER, 100 years uh, Boeing. This one came in from Seattle, overnighting, and from San Francisco, and in from, uh, we'll say Orlando. And we got a Hawaiian, uh, I mean, uh, Alaska A321neo coming in from Washington, Dulles, flight 771. We'll be heading up to Seattle tomorrow morning. Uh, we get pretty regularly uh, these guys on Washington Dulles. Sometimes switches to an A320, but it's always, always an Airbus on Dulles. That's our only Transcon, I think, at the moment on an Airbus. Over to the C concourse here in the in the, the south side. Uh, we've got an E175. Uh, Going to be heading out to... I'll send this one to Payne Field. The route hasn't started up yet. It starts out up in like a couple months or something, but that's the route that I used to fly on a whole bunch for flight training um, back when I was working for Alaska on my benefits and stuff. But yeah, Painfield, I was operated on Horizon Air and we'll say he came in from Spokane. Here's an Alaska 737-800 uh, heading out to um, Boston Logan. Here's a 737 MAX 9, gonna be heading out to Honolulu and arrived in from Kona. Uh, that's one I've seen this going on a few times. Here's a One World. Uh, 9ER, gonna be heading out to, going out to San Jose. My dad took uh, the 900 uh, One World out to San Jose. That's cool. Another 900 yard, gonna be heading out to Boston and uh, came in from New York JFK. Uh, JFK started up a little while ago, a few months ago. And right here is a uh, 800 in from Newark and it's gonna be heading out to Chicago. And we got another 900 ER here in from Austin, Texas. It's gonna be heading out to Dallas, Fort Worth. I'll just finish with the other Alaskas here. We got another 900 yard here. Uh, this one is uh, in from Honolulu. Gonna be heading out to Kahului, Maui. Um, the only other Alaska route I think that we haven't really got is Lahui. Uh, but right here is the Century 8. Gonna be heading out to San Jose del Cabo and uh, came in from uh, Palm Springs. Right here is Century 7 800. Uh, one of the last ones with delay. There's only a few of these left, I think one or two. And uh, we'll send him out to. Um, how about Anchorage? Yeah, Anchorage, Alaska, and came in from and in from Denver. And then right here is American Century 7 800, uh, pushing out the Chrome Retro Delivery, pushing out for Charlotte. This Alaska Century 8 will take his gate. Um, he's just arriving in from LAX. He'll be heading out to uh, Ontario. Right here's an A321 for American, getting ready to push for Dallas Fort Worth. Got another A321 uh, going out to Phoenix. This is a Neo. Uh, we've had the Neo on Phoenix a couple times. Here's a CRJ 700 operated by SkyWest going to LAX. Uh, they do operate, it is SkyWest that operates the American Eagle flights to LAX, and I have seen the, the house livery a few times, so that's cool. Then right here, a Sen 37 MAX 8 heading out to O'Hare. I've seen that a couple times. Uh, mostly just a regular 800, but, uh, but yeah, MAX 8 to O'Hare.
Right here at the, the regionals. We've got a Q400 heading to Boise. Um, Q400 heading up to Seattle. Uh, E175 gonna be heading out to um, Oakland, California. And came in from uh, uh, Phoenix, we'll say. Uh, Phoenix might be all mainline. Uh, not sure about that one. Um, and then uh, right here is one in from Tucson. Get some better light on these guys. There we go. Uh, in from Tucson, Arizona. And we'll be heading out to Santa Barbara. Right here is a Q400 pushing out for Medford. And uh, and came in from Spokane, in from Spokane. And right here is a Q400, gonna be heading out to Seattle. A lot of the Q400s only, they don't do a ton of routes, mostly just in the Pacific Northwest. Pretty much all of them, a lot to Seattle. But uh, yeah, going in from Seattle, out to Seattle. Then an E175 here, gonna be heading out to Kansas City and came in from uh, Dallas Love. I think Dallas Love is operating right now. Pretty sure. Uh, I I stopped working at PDX like like two two months ago. So <laughs> so uh, so it's I gotta keep track of everything that's still going on there now. Uh, just on like flight radar. Over here with the cargoes and uh, the runway here. Uh, what just landed is a JetBlue A320 in from Boston. Uh, I'll be heading back there. Uh, we sadly did not get a flight to LAX on JetBlue. Uh, kind of of a bummer, but you know. Uh, what can I say? Uh, right here, just pulling off the runways of Hawaiian A321neo in from Kahului, flight 39. Uh, just came in on this flight uh, two days ago on Saturday in first class. Great flight. I'll have a trip report for that uh, sometime whenever I get to it. Um, but then right here, we got a UPS 747-8 freighter in from Louisville heading at the Anchorage. That happens on Fridays. Over in the hangars here, we got an American 789 getting painted. A couple 787s here. There is a Norwegian 787 parked. I figure it's waiting for a new owner to get repainted because Norwegian no longer operates 787s. But there is one out there. There's also like a Gulf Air 787, but I don't have that model. But uh, yeah, just a few other 787s just waiting out here. We've got Saudi and, e and Eddie Had. Over here, uh, Horizon Maintenance Area. We've got a Q400 getting some maintenance, some Ameriflight, uh, Beach 1900s heading out to Hermiston and uh, Salem and came in from. Uh, Seattle Boeing and uh, and Klamath Falls. Uh, some UPS aircraft here. We got a 763 heading out to Louisville and uh, came in from Louisville. MD-11 in from Louisville. We'll be heading out to Anchorage. Uh, usually the flight that's on this is on MD-11s the other days of the week. So right here's a 763 in from Chicago Rockford. We'll be heading out to uh, Ontario, California. And a 752 in from, uh, I know we get the 75s from Chicago Rockford. So yeah, I'll say 75 in from Chicago Rockford heading out to Ontario. The 76 will say is in from Des Moines. I've seen that a couple times heading out to like, uh, San, uh, I will say Louisville. <laughs> um, so yeah, now just over to over there and we'll finish up. Sorry about all the accessories just being spread everywhere, but I figured, uh, if I, Took the time to set them up. I probably wouldn't be able to get this update out, and then it would be delayed for like indefinitely until I actually move, which would be like another month or so. So, figured it's either kind of messy, messy now, or cleaned up in like a month or so. So, over here, we've got a couple of FedEx feeder uh, Cessna caravans heading out to Corvallis and Eugene, and came in from um, yeah FedEx feeder, uh, and oh, we'll say they came in from uh, Roseburg and uh and redmond here's a 763 in from indianapolis heading out to lax md11 in from memphis heading out to oakland primary century 7 in from lakeland florida heading out to houston uh here's a dhl 752 they use a 762 in from lax out to seattle actually no it's just oh, it's just a seattle turn in from seattle back to seattle uh cafe cargo 748 heading out to Anchorage and came in from LAX. Uh, we still get those on a pretty regular basis a couple times a week. Then right here is a Prime Air 763 in from um, in from Cincinnati. We'll be heading out to um, well Wilmington. Yeah, uh, those routes kind of vary, but I've seen those a few times. Over here in the other hard stands, we got a, a Delta 752 doing the the charter for the Blazers. Uh, and then right here is an American A321 in from Dallas overnighting. Couple Alaska aircraft, th uh, 320, uh, in from Seattle, uh, a 739 in from 
uh, Phoenix and a 738 in from uh, Fort Lauderdale for this aircraft. That route, I think, was seasonal, so it may, may have ended, but, uh, yeah, we had a Fort Lauderdale flight, which is cool. Um, yeah, Fort Lauderdale. So, uh, that's gonna do it, you guys, for the update. Uh, sorry, a little, a little quick and everything, but uh, I wanted to get this out before I move. Uh, just getting ready to fly the plane across the country. Uh, you can stay tuned for updates on that on Instagram. I'm also gonna do some kind of vlog-type videos, just, uh, kind of documenting my way across there. So, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram at gemrightits underscore 2000. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.